Hey guys, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my recent book haul. Um, this is mainly January, few, I think a few February maybe, oh, I just, I'm lost track of the months. But these are books I've just picked up recently, not including books that I've already read. So, that, so I've picked up books and then read them really quickly because I think that um, I kind of want these hauls to be a bit more like, oh, like first impressions, what I think about them instead of oh a mini review when you're just going to get that at the end of the month or in a mid-month wrap-up possibly so i'm just going to start with uh where should i start this book so i picked up the breakthrough by daphne du maurier and it's one of these penguin modern classics i think i've already got one i've got the martin luther king jr one and i'm this says on the back i'm just going to give you the blurb the scient a scientist's attempt to solve the, myster the mystery of life after death has chilling consequences in this eerie tale from a virtuoso writer of suspense. Now, um, I really liked Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I really enjoyed um, Jamaica Inn. Uh, and I haven't got any Daphne du Maurier books on my uh, to-be-read shelves at the minute. However, I just thought I wanted to read some something by her, so I thought I'd just pick this up. But I think I might hold off on buying any new books till I, because I'm probably most likely to read them in the winter, the autumn time, because I find her writing quite autumnal, gothic, etc. So I feel like I bought this because I might serve some, might give me a little bit of a taste to tide me over. And I just, I was looking at Penguin Modern Classics. I did want to buy the full collection, but I just thought, it's so expensive, I'm just going to buy one. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think about it in that time and then went straight down to one. I thought about it and then thought, oh, I'll just buy a couple that I want to read and then see what happens. We'll go from there. In the same shopping trip, I also bought I Know Why the, Cave the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, which is um, her autobiography. And I don't really know much about it or much about her life. All I know is is that she's supposedly incredibly interesting and I imagine she is and I, I just thought I'm just gonna pick it up and um, and I want to know what everyone's talking about so I can join in on the conversation which if it comes up and you know it's good and I oh that was so good such a good catch yeah so I thought that'd be really interesting a good read and then I'll just, I've got, I got gifted two books from a lovely friend of mine. I uh, went to her house for some tea and it turns out she was getting rid of some books and she said, oh, do you think you'd like these? And I thought, well, yeah, maybe, why not? And she's, I've got the summer book by Tove ja Jansen, Jansen, I think that's how you pronounce it, who is the creator of the Moomins. And that is literally the sole reason I picked this up, because she created the Moomins. Because she created the Moomins, I thought, oh, wow, this is going to be interesting. And I just thought that is literally the only reason I picked it up. And it's about a artist and her granddaughter who go away to a tiny island in the summer. And that's all I want to know. So that's all you're going to know, unfortunately. And also, she gave me, this is another book I knew nothing about, but she was offering it to me. So I thought, yeah, why not? The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. And I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, this is a magical realism novel um, about a dollhouse, possibly, and how the dollhouse maybe is connected to real life. And I'm not sure if that's actually true or I'm just talking out of my backside. But uh, seriously, when I was a kid, I used to play my doll's house and I used to think, oh my god, what if I'm in someone's dollhouse and they're playing? <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing what they tell me to. And I used to think about that so much as a kid. And, yeah, I've heard so much about this. And I kind of just thought, yeah, why not? Um, yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll have that. If you're you're just going to give it away. And then I bought two books in the Waterstones sale. The first one is Vox. And the subtitle is Silence Can Be Deafening by Christian, Christ, Christiana, Christina Dalsha. And it's about... A future, uh, slightly futuristic, not really, like 10, 30 years, I believe, um, world, our world, where reproductive rights have been really restricted and um, I'm pretty sure an embryo has been given human rights. 
so obviously it affects a lot of things like IVS, uh, IVS, IVF, um, abortion, everything like that and I think it's a really, it, it's meant to be a really interesting social commentary on um, women's rights and um, anti-abortion movements. Um, yeah, and I just really want to read this because I think it'd be really interesting. I'm half price. Also, another book I read because I read I bought because I want to read it for book club with um my lovely friend Mia. Who this is a book club I mentioned before. We're just going to read like one book together a month and chat about it. Um, and I saw this for half price and I really wanted to read it and it's Raw by Cecilia Ahern. I read quite a lot by Cecilia Ahern, but this is called this has got thirty women, thirty stories. So that's as far as I know. I just know that I find Cecilia Ahern really interesting and um I actually really like her novels and I read quite a lot of them when I was younger because she has quite a few romance novels, a few magical realism and I think she's got a few teen teen novels as well. Um, but yeah, so at some point we'll read that. I might suggest it for March. But going on from that, I also picked up February's pick, which is The Pisces by Melissa Broder. And this is about, as far as I'm aware, uh, a young girl called Lucy, and she has a dramatic breakup. This is what I'm seeing. And she gets entra entranced by an eerily attractive swimmer. And yeah, she can see the fish it's called the Pisces. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to reading this. That's all I know about it. This is one of Mia's picks. So, and she picked the uh, the Ghost Ghost Wall as well by Sarah Moss, and we really enjoyed that. So hopefully, this is a good one also. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're going from there. And then also one last, I'll just do one more book book before I go into a few proofs. I got A Storm of Swords, Steel and Shadow by George R. R. Martin, and which is the next Game of Thrones novel I need. So I've got all of them, and I was missing one, and this was the one which was the next one I had to read. So I had to pick it up because I want to read that at some point this month, if I pick it there. And then I've got three proof copies that I picked up from work, and I got Stormhound by Claire Fares. Fares? Fares, I think I'm going for. Um, and it's about Storm of Odin is the youngest stormhound of the wild hunt that haunts the lightning field skies. I'll just read that first sentence because I couldn't think of another way to phrase it uh, at this moment in time, probably on a less brain fog day. Um, and it's about a young and he falls to earth on his first ever hunt and gets it's, gets the little dog, it's a little paired up with a young girl and it's a kid's novel and it says on the back for fans of Maz Evans don't know who that is Jessica Townsend so that's why I picked it up and MG Leonard and this comes out on the 21st of Feb so I'd really like to get to that soon so I can read it before it comes out because that's kind of the idea of a proof but then I also got Things That Fall From The Sky by Celta Ahava maybe and it is who is the and it is translated from I can't tell you what it's translated from oh translated from the finish by Emily Jeremiah and Fleur Jeremiah and as far as I'm um aware this is about like different quirks of fate that bring loads of people together and I think it's sort of short stories that sort of blend into one whole story that might be completely incorrect I'll let you know once I've read it <laughs> but yeah I'm really excited to read that and um, that should be really good and then naturally it would cut out just so I was about to talk about the last most exciting book I don't have a whole lot to say about it because I don't know a whole lot I'm sorry if anything's changed the lighting's dipped because we're using the natural bullshit bar love natural but you know it's black leopard red wolf by marlon james it comes out the 28th of um this month and it is his marlon james's new fantasy novel fantasy trilogy which i am unbelievably excited to read um 
and the tagline or the uh, sub whatever is just the child is dead there is nothing left to know and it's about a hunter that usually goes alone in but this time he doesn't but yes thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe i'll be doing vlogs while reading this because i'm just so excited and um, then i can sort of maybe give you a brief synopsis then thank you very much goodbye